Looks like I'm not off-roading today. They even went ahead and blocked it off with cones and a chain. A very nice off-roading spot down there, but I guess that is not possible. They were too fed up with people off-roading down there or something. I don't know. It was a, it's a public boat launch, I don't understand. I guess uh, no off-roading here. Vape, ever, to exist in existence. An existence of existence. They even closed down this place too. What am I gonna do? This place. Magnificent. your truck man yeah off-roading accident completely realized that i don't have a spare tire i sold it and i don't have a i don't have chains a winch or anything i don't even have a proper i don't even have a proper lift let alone anything else so it's probably not a good idea so i'm heading out of here and we got places to attend to today kicking up all the mud and everything in the dirt i shouldn't oh my gosh couldn't imagine if my wheels were very stance to be terrible. Hey, we're back on the road here. As you can see, I went down all the way down here by the river. And people come down here, do all kinds of off-roading and stuff of that nature. Usually a lot of Jeeps and everything come down here. It's a cool place and all, but obviously they're closing down a lot of places and everything. They don't want people tearing things up. And I mean, I usually don't go too crazy back here anyway. I don't dig the, the five to eight foot holes that people literally are digging with their Jeeps. It's honestly ridiculous. But yeah, I'm actually gonna look for a lost Cummins part that actually fell off. Now, one of the things I actually did fall off this truck was that I used to have a, a black exhaust tip that I found on the side of the road while I was biking. And the fact that I found it, and now that I lost it, I mean, it's just gonna go to somebody else now. So I guess that's how these things work, right? I guess it's not that big of a deal to me, but I mean, it'd be cool to have, and it's worth just looking for where, 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 where. Another thing that I did not think about on the way down here is that the water level is actually very high so I figured you know it's probably going to swamp a lot of these places and like I said before I don't have a spare tire holy cow oh my gosh that is amazing rockstar rims power stroke all American coating yo that is so nice that is lifted so high too Oh my gosh. Can't tell from here how big those tires are, but it's definitely a probably, I'd say it's a 37, I'm not sure. But that is a sweet truck. I love that wrap. Thinking that's a wrap. American flag wrap is done right. Country shocks in the front. I'd say that this is a rough country lift kit on it. Not really sure. I'd say that's more than six though. That's pretty nice. I remember going to that junkyard with Mike and we're looking parts we're looking for parts with his old truck and everything and guess what I see this guy I'm leaving and this guy takes this old van that's gonna get scrapped and they literally just burn out the tires they're trying to blow the engine or something they're roasting the tires completely it literally made this so thick cloud of smoke that it was it was hard to breathe you felt it in your throat it was so much rubber being burnt they were literally trying to blow the engine on that thing but I guess it wasn't working and they kept going on I think it was a See whether a Chevy or a Ford van. Here we go, rolling up here. I don't know if you guys remember this. Whenever I made that video about with the Cummins and everything, I tried driving up this mound over here. And it might be where it is. Let's see if it is. All right, let's get on out. Ah, it's so cringy. Look at those purple vines. Never seen that before. So uh, it should be over here somewhere if it is. I don't know, I don't see it. Damn it. Probably flung. 
So what I'm looking for is that little air dam piece. It's, let me know if you see it, because I don't. But the little air dam chip. I'm sure I chipped it here because of the rocks. But I guess it's not. Oh my gosh, the truck is dirty. I guess it's not here. Huh. Holy hell. This truck is one dirty old girl, man. One dirty old girl. I'm here at the car wash. I'm just going to wash this truck off, get all the mud off, because as you know, we're going to be doing a lot of work to this truck, so I can't keep it dirty like this. I know you guys probably would prefer it and like the look of it and all. And then after we wash the truck, we're going to go checking out some cool cars. Here we go. Inside the auto show, we got a 2018 Cummins, and I'm just going to compare it to what my engine bay looks like. Gosh, I don't even want to deal with all this emission stuff again. I, as you can see, the coolant routes up here, that's different than mine. Ram active air on the stock air filter. I do like that design. Mine didn't say anything on it at all. Looks like they changed the material of the, of the battery blanket. I don't know what kind of material that is. A lot softer, a lot thicker. It seems more durable. So this is definitely a very nice truck. And there's honestly still no room and there probably will never be any room they'll probably keep taking up more and more space each and every day but look at that battery terminal Jesus there it is ladies and gentlemen Longhorn Ram 2500 Cummins turbo diesel total price 73 455 what is the key in it or something oh man they don't have a carpet in here but this interior man holy cow Look at that screen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is it. DEF. Screw the DEF. That is new emission stuff. I'll show you guys that on the outside of the truck. This is beautiful. And you got this. Oh, the moonroof. Oh, how did the see if it open? Oh man. I mean, oh my gosh. I'm nursing a semi. This is so amazing. I, I love this. They brought the, they got the shifter in these. I know the 1500s, I think they might have, what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I can just smell the, the beautiful leather smell. It smells like uh, brand new leather boots. Holy cow, look at the design on there. Oh my gosh. This is the truck, man. This is it. I gotta get one of these. Look at the design, the attention to detail in these trucks. Everything looks so, so new and changed. Gee whiz. What do you rate this truck on a scale of one to 10? You're asking me. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, I say 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah. Oh my gosh, just feel the material made out of this and the roof. Oh my gosh, everything, everything. They don't have the tow mirrors though. Uh, yeah. But that is a simple fix. That is a simple fix. That is nothing. This is ridiculous. I was saying I don't think I ever deserve something this nice. I just beat it up too much, I guess. Not up to detail it every single day. So another thing I like about these is the rear axle. Got a lot more support back there. And it comes with 33 stock. These are 20 inch rims, 33 inch tires. It sits so high. This is the bottom of the window is right on my shoulder. Gosh, this, this is the best you can get. This is amazing. Purple Jeep, check it out. I did drive this one for a long time. I think it was a couple months ago, maybe a year ago. And the only thing that I didn't like about these Jeeps is that the visibility was very tight. As you can see, this the front is, I mean, there's not really much there. And I mean, you got a lot of leg room. I'm, don't get me wrong, but everything is just kind of really up in your face. And but what I do like is the off-road capability of this Jeep, so I'd still buy one, and I love the Wranglers a lot. But this purple color, probably not. I'll just cover in mud and turn it brown, so check it out. Oh, it's a V6. V6, you gotta be kidding me. Very crammed, just like all the other new vehicles. Check that out. Fuel injection. Let's see what we got. They're still rocking the Dana 60 or Dana 80 or whatever, the 
solid front axle. Always gotta love that. Thing is sweet. And what do we got here? We got a D-Max. Got a 6.6. Six. It's got the Allison in it. Holy cow. What the? Someone left their stuff in there. Someone left their phone and stuff in there. Uh, this is a Denali right here. It's got a fully coated bed and everything. I'm just going to ignore that. Whoever some of the stuff there. All right, so we got the interior in here. Denali got all these budget buttons. Two big touchscreen, not as big as the Ram. I must say, that Ram really pulled it off. Although this does look a bit more modern. The other one had more of a country look to it. But I must say that I, I do really like these interiors. It kind of reminds me of the Tahoe, but... I'd say Ford, well, that Ram takes it over this, of course, but I'm not even sure if this is the maxed out package or not, but I love the interior in this as well. Although I would opt for the black leather seats. Look at that, GT350. Look at that, oh my gosh. That's sick. It's got all covered. It's a manual. Loving the stripage and everything on it. It's such a sweet car. Oh no, it's still probably have a power stroke. Holy cow. This car is sweet. So here we go. We got a Roush F-150. It's got the Roush, the Roush uplift package. $60,000 for this truck. It was nice, but oh no. All I heard is that all these performance packages are always just a bit overpriced. And there's a bit of things that I won't do. I won't do the same. Street Speed 717. Can I get a Street Speed 717? There is his McLaren. Good golly. It's even crazier in person. The space to work on this BMW I couldn't even I couldn't even fathom how hard it would be to do that here we go I'm gonna buy this one right here put it on the Chevy the video does not do justice I'm staring at the light right now and I can easily tell what he was talking about holy cow that orange is amazing I could just only imagine this orange on one of my trucks and then black bumpers would be ridiculous that lifted 2016 I think it's sitting high Holy cow, what is on here? 35.125. 50 bucks. I think it's sitting sweet. Holy cow. Let me sit up on in here. Oh yeah, lots of room. I love this. This is my favorite part about these new Fords is that you got the, the double moon roof. Lots of room. Oh my gosh. There is so much room here. Now I'm sitting over here. I got so much room. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh man, I'm never I was never really a fan about the Ford about having all the buttons and everything. But I do love the roof and that makes up for it. This is definitely a nice truck too. But it's not a power stroke. We need to find that power stroke. These are the only steps that I'd ever get. These are tracked up when you open the door. I think they're the amp steps. I must say these stamps are, steps are very nice and the only ones, like I said, that I'd ever buy. Yeah, because I do not I do not like to look at steps down the road, but if they go back up, that's no problem. Look how thin they are too. Here we go, we got the 5.0 Mustang right here. Thing is sick. But again with the interior, man. The buttons, why do they have buttons? So many buttons. Here we go, we got the 3.5 liter V6. It's got a twin turbo in it. So this is probably not the route that I would take when it comes to one of these trucks. I'd go for the V8. I heard there's a 7.0 liter coming in the Ford Raptor. That's what I'd rather get. So where, where are the turbos at? Let's see them. It's too crammed in here. Here we go, back in the first room, and we got this Cummins here. I first looked at the at the color, and I figured, hey, I don't really like it, but now I really do like it. And this is this is what I'm more I'm thinking. I don't really need that crazy interior. I mean, I just feel as if I'm gonna ruin it or get it too dirty. 
I'm more of a simple guy and this is this is definitely good enough for me as you can see we got everything i really need in here we got still got a big touch screen just standard buttons and everything and uh yeah everything else is pretty much designed the same as my 2011 in the back you got a lot of room these seats remind me of the second gen seats but they don't have that rainbow color to them yeah everything is basically the same as my 11 besides the screen here that is a big plus i do love that and but we don't have the moon roof and i would want that if i were to buy a brand new truck i'll probably buy a brand new one one day i love the material feel in here it's very i don't know it's, it's not plastic it's not tough plastic like my steering wheel i like the black black and silver looks good or our black on black would be good enough for me but i don't know the tan is okay but this is probably what i'd go with if i were to buy a brand new truck obviously if i can afford the top of the line wood trim and everything i'd go for that but this this is what i have in mind for now the steering wheel is so tight and everything i mean the door what am i saying but so what are your thoughts about this compared to the one with the wood trim pretty cool this is what i'm thinking this is what all on the lines i mean it's e it'd be easier to clean this yeah oh i like that color silverado and right here we got a high country 2018 silverado 2500 high country four wheel drive oh my gosh this is what i'm talking about right here both sound system that is nice you got the moon roof you always need that high country on the back gosh this is beautiful this is it it's d max right yep where they want seventy thousand. but the front end oh my gosh it's probably my favorite heavy duty body style i'd say but then the other trucks have their own plus and minuses cummins is the better engine and then ford with the two windows on top the moon roofs here we go six six liter oh yeah finally finally we found it 2018 f250 6.7 power stroke i was looking at the other trucks and i thought there was no room to work on the truck but then i saw this and i oh my gosh this is ridiculous there is no room to work on in this truck at all you got to bring it to the dealer if there's any kind of problem it just says bring the dealer there's hoses going everywhere there's hose, hoses and power cords going everywhere there's no room at all to work on this truck it's honestly ridiculous but i gotta love the look at it look of it they definitely sit the highest they want sixty-seven thousand for this truck it's sitting so high it's just ridiculous how high they sit this is 33s in here but you could easily i'm sure you could put 37s on its stock or at least put a leveling kit on it but you could definitely fit some giant tires look how the well just turns in back there so that's a big help and then back here i mean there's not that much to really worry about this is honestly ridiculous they sit so high that all the other trucks the rams and the chevys they do not sit as high as this oh, i love that getting inside here we do not have the moon roofs usually there'd be two of them in here but i guess that's not the package very nice interior in here it's very modern i love the, the fake wood but i feel as if that would break and then of course well got a touch screen on here too too many buttons I love the steering wheel though. And it smells pretty good. We got a lot of room back here as well. But I definitely say that if I were to go with one of these interior wise, I'd go with the Ford for the moonroof. But I'd say the Ram kills it on the one with all the wood trim and everything. But then I love the Chevy as well. So it'd be the toughest decision if I was in the market for a brand new truck. I don't know what I would pick, but gotta love the height on these new Ford Super Duties. So would you look at that? Sony sound system truck is not on but i'm sure that this thing probably sounds the best out of all because i mean so it's such a big brand and everything and i would say these seats are probably the most comfortable seats out of all three brands this isn't even the maxed out pa package and these seats are very comfortable they feel broken in already even though it's a brand new truck gotta love it which one do you think is the best one out of all three here i like the dodge cummins why oh you felt higher up and there was less all up front there. I'd say this one's the highest truck out of all three. You think so? Yeah. It's 